here we go using a heat gun 1500 watts I'm gonna use this on high also we have these little plastic disposable scrapers here made out of plastic the only thing I use this for is to start lifting off the sticker then the rest will come off by hand the weather damaged ones on the trunk I may have to scrape them with this once uh, you're done scraping it there will be a glue residue you have to take that off as well here we go the goal of this heat gun is to keep it moving. If you stop any bubble the sticker or the paint, it's going to be a mess. So, like I said, the goal is to keep it moving. I like to do the outside first, kind of loosen it up, work my way around it. It's a double layer sticker, so there's basically a sticker on top of a sticker. And with this technique, I'm going to try to get both off at the same time. Like I said, keep that heat gun moving. This is factory paint. If it wasn't, uh, I could very easily damage it and bubbling in if I left it in place too long. Factory paint's a little bit more durable. Try to do two at once here. The surface is very hot. Moving on. So I can show you the stripes now. Same technique. Always keep this thing moving. Once you start bubbling the sticker, you're melting it and it turns into a huge mess. So keep it moving. All you're trying to do is heat it up, now melt it off.
different part here. This is actually a sticker on top of a sticker. I'm gonna take off the center sticker here first and then do the outside sticker. Hopefully I can get this off all in one piece. I think you guys have seen enough of that. I'll show you the uh, trunk later. It's a true mess. All right, getting close here. I did change techniques and get a, a little bit more aggressive here. I am now switching over to a plastic razor blade. It's basically a razor blade made out of plastic. And it's actually working quite well. I don't think it's damaging the finish, so. Let me show you these last three uh, letters. Center's coming off quite easily because it was a double sticker and the heat didn't get to it as much. But the outside is just baked on there. Last one.
As you can see, this last technique I'm using with this razor blade is actually a uh, plastic razor blade. It's very aggressive. I don't think I damaged the finish at all. I want to make another video show you how to remove all the sticker goop. There's a bunch of white spray paint on the car as well that needs to come off. Let me show you the car. All that sticker goop is still on there. White spray paint all over the trim and on the body. And the other side looks the same way. I think I got about an hour and a half in the stripping this whole car. Probably half hour that's in the trunk lid. And I'll probably have another hour of uh, sticker goop removal, which I think is the worst part. Alright, look forward to my next video.